Hi everybody, happy Halloween. It's Hazel with my Tarot Advisor. I hope this video finds you well and thank you for stopping by. Today, in honor of Halloween, I would like to talk about the death card and hopefully rid you of any fear that you may have if the card comes up in one of your spreads. So first and foremost, 99% of the time, the card is not going to indicate your death. What it is trying to tell you is that you're going through a transformation or a major change in your life and you're going to have a new life after. So let's look at the symbolism of the card and we have the skeleton on the white horse and the skeleton is representing you. You're stripped of all of your layers. You're changing um, so much that you're getting rid of old or what no longer works so that you can find something that does and makes you happier. You're changing so much that even your friends may not even recognize you. So then you're riding in on a white horse, which represents spirit and holding a black flag with the white rose, the black indicating the formality or the depth of the situation and the rose indicating passion. So we have passion and spirit in the same card, a very powerful card. And then down below, we have the dead emperor, and he is symbolizing old rule or what used to have power over you, but no longer does. Then we have a child offering a gift to the rider, and he's innocent and welcoming to the rider because he's, even though he doesn't know what it is, he's very uh, welcoming to the change. And then we have the maiden with her eyes closed and her head is turned the other direction. She's actually afraid to look at what she does not know. And then we have the religious leader and he's uh, symbolizing spiritual journey or even praying for change. So behind them, you can see a river with a ship on it. And this indicates the long journey and then up here we have the rising sun, which is symbolizing new life. So when you get this card upright in a reading, it does indicate a change or a cycle is coming to an end. Um, you're clearing out old habits, leaving the past behind, uh, releasing old behaviors to allow new. And it can even indicate a move or um, with a job, it can indicate you're being fired, but it depends on what is surrounding uh, the card and uh, what they indicate. Um, it can also indicate that you may quit your job um, because you're just uh, not getting anywhere. You feel stuck. Um, it can indicate an ending or even a promotion. And if you're single, the card is actually a good card because you may not be single much longer. And this uh, is going to bring in a new relationship or a major change in your life. Um, for couples, it um, doesn't always indicate a breakup. It, again, depends on what surrounds it. Uh, most of the time, it may mean like an ending to an argument or a major change for the better. So when you get the card reversed, it can indicate like an involuntary change or something that you don't want to do, um, but it is going to need to be done. Uh, it can also indicate like a living death, like you're not out there living like you should be. Um, you're maybe sitting at home depressed. Um, it can indicate you have a fear of change or a fear of death. And Maybe you're stuck in old habits, or you may be still grieving for somebody that's been gone for a while, um, but you just haven't let this person go. And it can also mean like nothing is happening in your life and um, you're not going anywhere. And these, of course, are all um, indications that something is not going right in your life and it needs to change. So... 
when it would indicate something more serious, if the card is surrounded by fire cards or wands, um, it can indicate like a mental breakdown to an extreme though, um, like schizophrenia or paranoia. And it can also mean like a lack of uh, inspiration. And then a physical death, uh, if it's accompanied by a reversed Ace of Swords or a Ten of Swords or even the reversed Sun, it can indicate a physical death. So upright, your best course of action when you get the card upright is to move forward, uh, commit to the change, do not fight that change, and be honest with yourself. When it is reversed, your best course of action would be to don't do what you normally do because it doesn't work any longer. You need to find a new way to fix things. Um, take time to mourn your loss or um, what isn't working any longer. Because once we face the issue that is holding us back, that's when we open the roads to a better life or a new life. Right? I hope this video helped out and I look forward to working with you if you decide to choose me or any of our other um, talented psychics on our My Tarot Advisor. And I, again, glad that you watched the video. Happy Halloween. Blessed be.